And we'll be right back from Mulligan's on Union University Drive, getting set for the final four. 12 high definition televisions, including the biggest high def screen in Jackson. That's where we're watching the final four. How about you? We'll be right back. The station you rely on for dependable sports information. Who's your daddy? This is News Talk 101.5 FM. Seats, a special Saturday edition from Mulligan's on Union University Drive. My name's Dan Reeves, along with Seabass. Nigel is here, and Chris Burley, the brewmeister, is producing and directing back at New South World Headquarters. While we started this contest, the Mulligan's Tournament Challenge, back, what, uh, let's see, a month ago, Bew. Yeah. And Carol P. called in that night, and she picked the number, and beside the number that she picked was Kentucky, so Carol... Represented by Coyote Blue, she's all the way here to Mulligan's in the final four with a chance to win some cash money and a lot of great prizes with our Mulligan's Tournament Challenge bracket. And Cal P joining us here from Mulligan's. Uh, let's see, I live in Lexington. I work in Jackson. I have worked in Jackson for about 10 years. I have two children. I have two, four grandchildren. I'm fixing to have a great grandchild. I like to enter contests and do things like that. And I, so that day when they said, you know, call in and pick a number. And uh, so I had four numbers in mind and I couldn't decide which one. And, and I decided that whenever they uh, answered the phone, I would just go with one of my numbers. And I did, I picked number 10, it happened to be Kentucky. And, I, and, and when I spoke with um, Dan and uh, Seabass, they didn't give me a, a whole lot of hope that I would be where I am right now in the final four. I, I figured that I was going to bomb out and, and, I, and I wouldn't be where I am now. It's, I think it's just great. I'm excited. And I didn't figure when I picked number 10 and they said Kentucky, I thought, no way. There is no way I'm going to be. I, I didn't figure I would make it past the first game. But, but every time I would watch, I'd say, oh yeah, I won another one. And Ohio, when we played Ohio State, I figured that was going to be the death, you know. And, it, and, we, and I, I watched it and it was so exciting. I was like, oh, I'm still in it. <laughs> and Kentucky's won a couple of close games uh, to get where they are. But this is a team that's about seven deep. You know, seven, uh, and when I say seven deep, that's seven players that you really trust to right. do something big in the game. And, and I, I don't think anybody left can say that right. besides Kentucky. So that gives them a great advantage. Ah, that's awesome. So what, It'll just be awesome. <laughs> what do you think, Kel? The key is to victory tonight for Kentucky. Oh, I hope so. I, I don't know. I mean, you know, you don't ever know when you're going into this what's going to happen. So... We'll see. Just I'm going to cross my fingers. I'll tell you what I think, uh, what you got to know. you got to, if you're Kentucky, you have to submit to the fact that Kimball Walker is going to get his points. That's true. Kimball Walker averages almost 24 points a game. Uh, he is a surefire lottery player, and he's just a guy. He's just a great player. He's probably the best player in the country. 